It's safe to say that neither JD nor I expected to find ourselves in this position. But it's hard to imagine a more powerful example of the American dream. A boy from Middletown, Ohio, raised by his grandmother through tough times, chosen to help lead our country through some of its greatest challenges. I am grateful to all of you for the trust you've placed in him and in our family. Yeah, Usha Vance bursting onto the national spotlight this week at the RNC. Her stage presence not going unnoticed, especially by one of our favorite comedians, Zarna Garg. Listen. It's impossible to not think that this is the war of the ladies. Usha is giving Michelle in a big way. She's the secret superpower of JD. You can't deny that she's an eloquent, thoughtful, and brilliant woman who has exceptional stage presence. Zarna, you made a lot of news by watching the news and noticing that. I have to agree. You feel a degree of pride right now, Zarna Gard? Well, not exactly, because Usha, within the Indian community, has been a bit of a disappointment. Um, you know, she's Indian and she's not a doctor. <laughs> so... <laughs> There's a, I mean, she's the daughter of two physicists, and she got a degree in history. And as if that wasn't bad enough, got a master's in philosophy. Like, being elected to some kind of office is the least she can do to make up for all the trauma she caused her parents. Like, <laughs> you're being funny. People should know. I, it, you are I actually prideful, am not though. being funny. My kids are watching. Like, I hope they're listening to what I'm saying. Right. I understand. <laughs> uh, but she's done it right for herself. She is pretty, was pretty amazing. This is very... Fascinating time, I mean, for the Indian-American community. They got Vivek, who made a lot of news. He's got nothing but, uh, he's already a multimillionaire uh, and is a great speaker. Even Kamala Harris, half Indian. Nikki Haley, governor, was, uh, ran a fantastic race. What is it about the Indian-American community? This is, this is a great time, isn't it? I mean, it's, they're coming around to the idea that there's more to life than just engineering and computers, and we've got to get involved. We've got to get involved in the communities that we're building. There's so many Indian immigrants in America, and, and everybody here to enjoy a, a prosperous, peaceful life. Like, we all left our homes. And some of us, like me, escaped a wicked mother-in-law, but like other people were, you know, you were here for economic reasons and for the prosperity and safety that we thought we were going to get here. So I. They're now all getting involved, and I think it's a welcome change. It is. Uh, also, what's a welcome change is uh, late-night television is an equal opportunity offender again. I'm just noticing suddenly it looks like Joe Biden is open season on him. Look at Jimmy Fallon, Bill Moore. On the bright side, it's the first positive news he's had in months. <laughs> That's right, Biden has COVID. Luckily, he can't spread it because Democrats have been distancing themselves from him since the debate. <laughs> Biden had fatigue, a cough, and brain fog. And then he got COVID. Uh, <laughs> thankfully, Biden is expected to make a full recovery, and his doctor said that he'll be back to 60% in no time. <laughs> I didn't think I'd hear one of those jokes, let alone three in 40 seconds. Your thoughts? I mean, I think it's about time, you know? And, and I think there's a little bit of nervous anxiety in the co comedy community. Because, you know, when, when, when Trump is not running or we're not talking about him, we run out of things to joke about. And finally, it's fine to joke about the Democrats and the progressive side because it has actually right. become that funny. Everybody right. is in a state of disbelief with where we are. And, you, and right. the comics are at the front of saying things that, are on, uh, that is on everybody's mind. And you are, we discussed this, the top comedian in the country and a very success, a success story in your own right. Zorna, thanks so much. I can't wait to see you back in studio in New York. Continue to have success on the stage. Thanks so much, Zorna Garg. Thank you so much. Thank Meanwhile, you for having me. Zorna's a huge presence on social media, and so are we. Follow us on everywhere you can, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Rumble, whatever we're calling Twitter now, at uh, Killmead. Also, I'm on Locals. More of Fox Nation, excuse me, more of One Nation in just a moment. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.